thanks for tuning in. Fresh episode of Outdoors with T. Been following this real big ravine here for a while. Me and Rocky over there. Tommy here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Fresh episode here, fresh hunt. So yeah, I seen this big old snag right here. Looked like it came down in that Draco we had not that long ago. A lot of carnage around here from it. And here's the bluff and the whole cliff. Of course, you know, I had to get down here and take a look because I seen that guy. I seen he had a lot of deadfall all over here. Rocky actually led the way. This is his find. So, good job, buddy. Good job. Looky there, guys. We got some early fall fresh oysters. And if you look, they're going all the way up that way. We got some smaller ones up top. Be careful though. While I'm up here, I got a lot going on here. But score! I'm excited. Rocky's had plenty of water. He just drank a lot right after his fresh find. He's a little worn out, as am I. We've been hiking and hiking, and it's all worth it. Never know what you're gonna find until you get out here. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these a little closer for you guys. I'm gonna do most of my harvesting off screen because I'm on this cliff and I don't wanna risk it. But let's identify that it's a true oyster. Oh yeah, gills run down the stem. That's what you want. Nice and moist. Them some good ones, guys. And now that I'm looking, I got some sort of false turkey tail there, too. We got something going on over here. Some more of those false turkeys, I believe. All right, guys. Going to get to some harvest in here. Get out there, stretch your legs. Mushrooms are about. Really appreciate you guys watching. Happy hunting out there. Hit that like button if you enjoyed what you've seen. And uh, think about subscribing if you haven't. Either way, I really, really, really appreciate you all watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next hunt, guys. I'm going to take my time out of here because where there's one mushroom, there'll be more. Yeah. Tommy, I'm back here. Got these oysters. So that's my haul. And uh, just wanted to show you here. They're really clean, actually. So I'm not going to do much rinsing today. Got a toothbrush here. And you just want to get that dirt off. Brush it out of there the best you can. And don't ever forget that a little dirt don't hurt. As my grandma always said. And my girlfriend always reminds me. And then I also like to just take some scissors and snip that little part off that was right on the tree. That can be tough sometimes. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, cleaning process. Do one more here for you. So I just like to see what we got going on under there. So take my toothbrush here. Sorry. And 
take my scissors, snip off that little part. And there you go. Taking these bad boys. Putting them over into here. Excuse me for a moment there. Alright guys, real simple. Cast iron with a couple tablespoons of butter. Just uh, trimmed all the ends off of these and trimmed all the ends off those and I got the stems off and I got them all clean with the toothbrush. Now they're in the pan. And we're cooking guys. You can actually cut that big one in half. Fresh catch and cook for y'all. Closer to the action here, guys. There we go. Got chicken in the oven, sauteing some mushrooms. I do like to break those bigger ones in half, they seem to cook better. That's looking pretty close to me. Get ourselves a plate here. And I'm going to have these with dinner. But, take off a nice couple of the brown pieces right now for a tasting. Tasting for you guys. There we go. Back to Tommy here. Good old fashioned clean catch and cook for you guys on the oyster mushroom. Oh, such a tender. Mmm, and delicious mushroom. Get out there, guys. Give it a try. Don't know what's out there unless you go. Those are starting to brown up nice. That's what I like to see. I love you all. I appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed what you've seen, hit that like button. And if you want to see some more, hit that subscribe button. Either way, I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time, guys. Bye-bye.